Friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to show you a curry, and this curry we are going to make it with brinjal and capsicum in a green gravy. This gravy is very very simple to make it. So let's start how to make it. First, to make this green gravy, we need coriander, mint, and peanuts, and some freshly grated coconut and sesame seeds, coriander seeds, and green chilies. With this, we are going to make a nice gravy. So first, we are going to dry roast some coriander seeds. In this, we are going to add the sesame seeds also. So first, we are going to roast these two, and then we are going to add some peanuts and roast it separately. So friends, here you can see the. coriander seeds and the sesame seeds are nicely dry roasted now we are going to transfer this into a plate and we are going to add some peanuts also so first we are going to dry roast the peanuts and meanwhile here we are going to take a blender in this blender we are going to add some fresh coriander and fresh mint you can take along with the stems you know tender stems if you have you can just take stems also and some green chilies lot of green chilies because this is the only chilies for our curry so you can add little bit more and also some tamarind and first we are going to grind this and then we are going to add the sesame seeds and the peanuts i have blended this greens nicely in this greens itself we are going to add the peanuts and sesame seeds and coriander seeds also you know all together also you can blend this and now we can just add some salt and also the coconut this is freshly grated coconut if you want you can cut it into pieces and grind it along with this so here i have finely grated but still i'm going to add it in this and make a paste all these masala will go into our curry since here you can see my green paste is ready so here i am going to keep this aside now in a kadai now we are going to start the cooking process add some oil today as i said i am using capsicum and brinjal so here is the capsicum which i cut it into little bit big pieces and also the brinjal i have taken small brinjals and i cut it into four and you know the edges are intact so this we are going to use for our dish once your oil is hot add some cumin seeds and in this we are going to add slices of onions you can either use slices or you can use you know, finely chopped also why i am using slices because i have lot of masala for our you know gravy to give nice thickening so this onions i want it in between so i cut it into lengths add little salt we are just going to slightly cook it we don't want it brown but just little bit transparent you can see the onions are little bit transparent now ginger garlic paste turmeric and also you can add little bit of bay leaf you can add it in oil also just mix it nicely and we are going to add the brinjal and capsicum mix it and just cover with a lid and we are going to cook it for 2 to 3 minutes in a slow flame and then we are going to add the masala and little bit water so cover it and reduce the flame we are going to wait for 3 minutes so dear friends after slow cooking for 3 minutes in between you can you know remove the lid and mix it and one more thing i forgot to tell you if you are using a you know whole brinjal like this this will take little bit time so what you can do is first in the oil itself you can fry this and keep aside and then add the capsicum and after 2 minutes then you can add your you know sauteed brinjal so either way you can do it i added together and i was cooking so you can do that way so that it will become fast and now we are going to add this paste and just mix it and also add some water and we are going to cook for at least 5 to 6 minutes and then our dish will be ready you need to cover this so before covering it we are going to check the taste once the salt and the spiciness wow i can add some salt after adding salt just mix it once and add some garam masala also now 
we are going to cover this with a lid or if you don't cover it and put it in a very very slow flame and you can add some more of water and let it simmer for at least 5 minutes so that your gravy will cook nicely and even the vegetables which we added will absorb the flavors from this gravy. After 5 minutes of slow simmering you can see the capsicum and the brinjal has cooked perfectly. You can see the brinjal is nice and soft and even the capsicum has cooked perfectly. I don't want the capsicum to be overcooked just I want little bit of that bite. So this is ready. I check the taste, salt is perfect and even the spiciness is perfect and this dish goes excellent with rice and even with roti. So this I am going to have it with rice but now immediately I want to taste it. I am just going to have this first nice green green gravy here. Mm, the gravy is excellent. Sometimes you need to make this instead of our regular you know the gravies you can just try this very simple gravy curry. So dear friends this I am going to have it later right now you guys try this dish and feed your family fresh food.